You also mentioned conscious menstruation. What is that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So again, it's like, you know, instead of just unconsciously menstruating, which is like just as soon as you're letting it happen. Yeah. yeah, just letting it happen, just put a tampon and keep going on with your day, like not even really acknowledging what's going on in your body. So that's like unconscious menstruation. Consciously menstruating is like, yeah, really just um, having a strong connection with the phases of the cycle, you know, so the bleeding phase, the first week really being all about taking that time just to reflect and self-care and rest and be with yourself, especially the first two days. You know, you don't need to take a week off, but just the first two days and reconnecting with your menstrual blood, you know. So a lot of women, if they're feeling disconnected from their feminine, um, the first thing I always suggest is, yeah, just getting a menstrual cup or some period panties and like connecting with your menstrual blood because that's like literally the elixir of your femininity. It's like, you know, it's the same as semen. So the male's seed elixir is semen and then women's is the menstrual blood because it comes from the, the womb, you know. The uterus, yeah. Yeah, so connecting to that. And it just means like just because if, if you're just putting in a tampon or a pad, you don't get to like see how much is coming out and like the texture of it and the energy of it, you know. So if you're using a cup or, a, 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 you know, those period panties, like you can, abs- like, squeeze out the blood from panties or <laughs> with a cup it's easier. You can actually see. And just connecting with it, seeing what what what's going on with your blood, you know. And then I like to just, like, um, offer it back to the earth, you know, and just nothing fancy. Really? Just, okay. Yeah. Yeah, just give it to the earth and that being like a symbol of um, also like connecting your womb to the earth. So you're like plugging into like energetically to the the earth. So you're feeling very grounded and feeling connected to this feminine energy of the earth. So it's such a beautiful, you know, way to consciously menstruate just to really remember our feminine essence, that creator energy. Yeah. Wow. I just feel like most women would not like that. That concept is so abstract <laughs> for, for most women to, to connect with their menstruation, but, but it's, it's so interesting. I mean, like, I guess how, how do you spiritually connect with it? Just, just like interacting with it is enough. Yeah. There's just something like it's, I mean, it's pretty in, intuitive, you know, but mm-hmm. it's just really, just by seeing it, you know, is such a healing thing in itself, you know, because there is such shame around it, like this subtle unconscious shame that like society puts on us, you know. So that's signaling to your body to shame your feminine side of you. So if we can reclaim that and it's like, this isn't dirty, this is just like, you know, a natural thing that happens every month. And um, just by witnessing it and I like to you know, if you're using a menstrual cup, you can see like, you know, obviously the color of it and like Mm -hmm. the, if there's any clots or anything like this, and that can tell you a lot about like what's going on in, in inside of you, you know? So it's a really good way to like understand your body more, understand what's happening every, every month. Right. Amazing. 